I'm Callum Hobman. Here's a look at what we're following on this Thursday. If you plan on heading out to Lake Isabella this summer, the Department of Public Health wants you to be mindful of bacteria before you go for a swim. Public Health recently obtained water samples from eight locations in Lake Isabella and says several areas have signs of the presence of potentially harmful blue-green algae. Public Health spokesperson Michelle Corson says they advise people to use caution when visiting the lake and to stay away from algae and scum in certain parts of the water. Once we have detected, which we now have, and we have the visible confirmation, we will be testing all the different areas of Lake Isabella monthly uh, because this is the season now with the warm temperatures and the more stagnant water that this would be a much more common occurrence. Corson adds that cyanobacteria are capable of producing toxins that have the potential to not only harm people, but pets too. Public Health says dogs and children are most likely to be affected by this. For more information on areas to avoid or to report active algae bloom, head to our website, turn to 23com well, are you all dressed up with nowhere to go? Well, now you have somewhere just in time for the weekend. It's a dead man's party downtown. Oingo Boingo, former members, Drama Rama, and missing persons will all take the stage at the historic Bakersfield Fox Theater tomorrow night. Tickets are on sale right now, can be purchased on their website by phone, which is 324 1369, or at their office from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The show starts at 7 30 p.m., doors open at 6 30. And the city of Bakersfield is kicking off the summer with a little troll action. Tomorrow, head to the park at Riverwalk for the first of their Movies in the Park series. It's free to the public, so bring your chairs and blankets for a showing of Trolls World Tour. The movie will begin at dusk on Friday. Good morning, everyone. After a really nice stretch of nicer, cooler weather, we are back to warm weather here in Kern County. We were enjoying high temperatures in the 80s since the end of last week. A really nice weekend, a good start to the week, but yesterday we saw those temperatures really take back off. 95 degrees, your high temperature yesterday, and it looks like we're going to be pretty close to that here in Bakersfield again today. We will get a little bit more cloud cover as we get into the afternoon, so hopefully that helps a bit. But temperatures still looking like they're going to be getting into the mid-90s here in the valley. And looking at the forecast for the rest of Kern County, a little bit more comfortable as you'd expect in our mountain communities. Still expecting some 90s over toward Ridgecrest. We do have some other changes in the forecast, though. We are tracking some cooler weather. It does look like we get a little bit below average as we head into the weekend. And we'll have more on that in your full forecast. And that full forecast is on our website. Hope you all have a great day. We'll have another update later in the afternoon.